On Friday, the Constitutional Court denied former President Jacob Zuma's request that the justices remove themselves from the IEC appeal case. The IEC petitioned the Constitutional Court to dispute Zuma's ability to serve in the National Assembly. This comes after the Electoral Court declared that Zuma would be on the ballot for the elections representing the MK party despite his 15-month jail sentence in 2021. This comes just 19 days before the 2024 national and provincial elections on May 29. Last week, Zuma filed a counter-application to have them deleted when the court heard his case. His argument why his firm believed that at least six justices were biased and so unfit to serve on the adjudication panel for his lawsuit with the IEC. Before the ruling could be issued, Deputy Chief Justice Mandisa Maya asked Zuma's attorney, Advocate Dalim Pofu, if he was okay to advocate Tambekan Ngaitobi opposing the motion. Pofu contended that the IEC, represented by Ngaitobi, could not reject the application in the case because they had not initially opposed it. However, he stated that it was unacceptable, but he would accept that the court had heard. Mpofu told the court that Zuma's detection was the worst injustice since democracy. Zuma was condemned to jail before refusing to testify before Zondo Commission on State Capture. Mungaitobi contended that the justices who condemned Zuma to prison for contempt of court were the most qualified to rule on the applications of their decisions. According to him, the justices did their job when they punished Zuma, and Zuma's claim that the decision was biased does not constitute a recusal.